Hi, it's Laurel from Trovi Boutique, and this week we're going to talk about what to wear on a job interview if you are going for a creative type of job. So before I get started on showing you some outfits, I am going to tell you a few tips that I use in general when dressing for a job interview. You can also use these tips for presentations or big pitch meetings that you have and same goes for the outfits I'm going to talk about later. My first big tip for job interview dressing is that you don't want to falsely advertise yourself. So that's like if you are a very colorful person and you wear a lot of prints and you or like big accessories or you have like a signature thing make sure you work that into your job interview outfit because if you show up in head-to-toe gray and you're usually wearing head-to-toe bright colors you're not gonna feel comfortable and the first day of the job people are gonna be like well, we hired a gray dressing person and this person is a crazy colorful person and I don't trust her anymore so you'll feel a lot more comfortable if you work in a little bit of your personality to your job interview outfit I'm not saying go crazy but just add a little something. My second tip for job interview attire is to be memorable but not distracting. So if you're wearing like a giant parrot on your shoulder and you're saying lots of smart things, the person's only gonna remember the parrot and they're not gonna really listen to what you're saying. So you wanna leave them with an impression of who you are, but your outfit should just be a little marker. So be the smart, qualified, fun, person with lots of great ideas that was also wearing something really cute and stylish. I'm going to show you a few outfits that you could wear on your creative type of job interview. We're talking writers, editors, architects, art directors, or any cool company. You could wear something that showcases your personality a little bit more than you could in, say, a corporate job. And I believe that the person interviewing would expect that if you are creative. So for this type of interview, you want to look appropriate, but not entirely conventional. It's super fun to dress for this type of job because you can show a little bit more of your personality and get your point across that you're a creative individual a little more clearly than you could in, say, a regular run-of-the-mill job interview outfit. For this outfit, I'm wearing a super fitted dress, and this dress is in a flattering color to my eyes. It's blue. And you could also wear a print, but then you kind of want to change around the accessories a little bit. For a fitted dress like this, it's important to remember to keep everything pretty conservative up top and also long enough in the knee. You don't want to show too much leg when you're sitting down. On an interview, it can be distracting. This dress is great because it is ruched and it kind of can be a little more forgiving in the stomach area and it's the perfect canvas for accessories. I have added kind of a statement necklace with some turquoise beads and brass. Also, simple brass bracelet, a watch to show that I am very time conscious. And I'm also wearing some heels that have lace up and they're just kind of cute heel in a neutral color. You could also, with this type of dress, add a bright blazer. Adding a bright blazer can give a fitted dress a little bit more tailored look and it can show your bold creativity and make you feel a little more confident. If you're wearing a pattern dress, I would stick to a neutral blazer, but for this, if you're feeling bold, I say go for a bright color or a bright print in your blazer. Another option for job interview attire is a suit, and I like to mix the suit separate so that you get a little bit more excitement in your suit attire. This one is all black, but instead of wearing something matching, I have this jersey with leather detailed blazer with zippers on it, super cool, has some pockets, and I've paired it with a knit pencil skirt, and it's important that your skirt hits right above the knee so as not to show too much leg. And the fun part is the blouse. So you can wear any type of print or color that says you. And I've picked this one because 
I love these colors. Just keep the jewelry simple. And I decided to not wear black shoes, but instead to do some metallic pumps. And I just think that it adds another level of interest to the outfit. If you're someone who rarely wears skirts, don't wear one on your job interview because you'll feel distracted, you'll get uncomfortable during your interview, and you don't want your legs to distract you from doing a really good job speaking. So I have chosen some great job interview pants because they are a little more modern. They're cut really nicely, and you should do the same. Don't wear anything that's too long or baggy. Make sure they're well tailored. I like these because they have a cool modern tuxedo stripe down the side, and they're cut to my ankle, so I can pretty much wear any shoe that I want. Um, but they're navy, so they still look conservative enough to wear on a job interview, even though they're very modern. I've paired them with a linen blazer, great for summer, and a solid top underneath that's a little bit more feminine. I've added a little bit of jewelry just to make it my own. You could do a printed blouse, but I like the solids for this outfit because I am wearing so many different colors. I just kept it nice and simple with some structured pointy-toed loafers. And I love this outfit because it's comfortable, you don't have to worry about anything showing, but it's still very classy and has a little personality. Just exactly what you want to show how great you are. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please visit trophyboutique.com for more tips and tricks and to sign up for my services. I also have an awesome newsletter that comes out twice a month and you can sign up right here. You're in the shot. Go get a job!